Today is my birthday. Hey, happy birthday to me. Alright y'all, had to get this review out the way and it happens to be on my birthday. And I just had a little flashback here because I started my channel five years ago and exactly five years ago on my birthday, this actually happened. I think I think it was fixed to the point where Floyd carried him. He allowed him to do certain things, but still, the fact that you went 10 rounds like that, man, that says a whole lot. Oh, okay. Yeah, so, um... Renaya, <laughs> come get your brother. <laughs> he, this dude got shitty fingers, man. I don't, somehow he was able to pull shit from his fingers. Change him. And y'all better not laugh either. I know what y'all saying. Oh my God, Rashad, you were so skinny. I was not skinny. My face got a little fatter, but I was never skinny, God damn it. I was a little more youthful, a little bit more slim. But anyway, we're not here for that, okay? I just want to share that flashback with you. We're here today to talk about... My second pops, all right, I call him that because Sly's been a part of my life ever since I was a little boy, okay, so I call him my second pops, Sly Stallone, Sylvester Stallone, Mr. Stallone is back with a new film, not in theaters, but on Amazon, and off rip, this is where it belongs, I love Sly, I even love Sly in this movie, but this movie is exactly where it needs to be, so once again, I might be going, I'm going to go, not might, I'm going to go into spoilers here, so if you have not watched the movie, stop, just come back, let's talk about it, because I'm about, I'm going to spoil some shit here, but I'm talking about Samaritan, if for some reason I always want to call it Good Samaritan, but Samaritan, directed by Julius Avery, holy shit, I got the name right, <laughs> I think, yo, I'll fuck up a lot of director's name, that's why I don't never say him, but he's responsible for films like um, Overlord, and that's like the only one that I know of, so Samaritan, Sly takes his uh, his dive into superhero territory, which is new for him. Even though he's played a superhero with Rambo and Rocky, but like an actual superhero with powers and shit. You know what I mean? So here he goes. He plays uh, almost a dual role here. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm going to spoil this here. So he plays Samaritan, who is the good guy, and he plays a brother Nemesis, who is the evil twin, the evil brother. Even though you never see their faces, they're always covered up in masks, but you know it's him. But they do a reveal at the end with some horrible CGI. I said, yo, it's like they, they took his face now and kind of meshed it with the way he looked in Rocky IV when he was training. And it was just really, just really bad. Like, oof. But all I know is if I'd have seen this in the theater, I'd have been pissed off. I'd have been like, yo, this shit's trash. But I spent money for this. But the fact that it was on Amazon, I got to watch it in my recliner and, you know, lean back. It, it was It's an enjoyable movie. It is. It, it's enjoyable. You know, it's that uh, that tale, almost like kind of like Unbreakable, or what's another tale where the superhero doesn't really want to be a superhero. He tries to be incognito, but like like Hancock almost. You know, he's uh, a broken man. You know, been through some shit, and he just wants to be hidden. He just doesn't want to be seen. He doesn't want to do the superhero thing no more. But look at y'all. Like, I'm warning, spoiler warning again. I call the twist ten minutes into the movie. So they hold, they do this whole exposition thing between Nemesis. And, and um, Samaritan, right? But right away, I was like, okay, he is Nemesis, all right? The brother that fell was was uh, uh, Samaritan. He is Nemesis, but he's living. He's trying to change his life around. I knew it from the jump. I predicted the motherfucker. And I'm not trying to be an expert or no Nostradamus or nothing like that or Jody Amis. Shout out to Jody's Corner. But, um, you know what I'm saying? i call her right back. She calls right when I'm doing the video. I'm sorry, that was my cousin calling in the middle of doing a video. Lost my train of thought. Yeah, but I, I predicted the motherfucker. I knew it. I said, yes. You know, so the movie takes place in the hood. It's in the urban area. You know, and Sly befriends this kid, this troubled kid. He's an he's a, a early teenager. His mom works all the time, and he's out in the streets getting into some bad shit. So this could have been a coming-of-age movie on its own, you know, but then you had the superhero element to it. But I think where this movie kind of falls flat is the, the chemistry between Sly and his kid, which there almost isn't any, you know. I mean, he's a likable kid and, you know, good enough, but I just didn't buy the relationship between him and Sly, you know. So I just, I didn't buy it, you know. It felt, I don't want to say it felt forced, but it felt cringe at times. Like, there, there was some banter between the two of them where I'm like, that's, that's, that's bad writing. And I tell you what, the climax actually saved the movie. The climax was, you know, Sly could do a climax like no other. Alright, so the climax kind of saved it, because other than that, this is like a mediocre, kind of cookie-cutter superhero movie, you know. 
that kind of follows the Marvel formula as far as the, the humor and all that stuff. Like, this could have been an MCU film had it been based on a Marvel character, but, I mean, I don't know if Samaritan's actual comic book character or not, but it, it's, it's really cliche, really predictable, but Sly is likable enough in the role, and just to see him play a superhero is kind of funny as hell. And then he has his weakness where um, if he gets hurt, his body heats up and he needs to cool himself down before his heart explodes. And I'm like, that's straight from Universal Soldier where they're, they're dead, but if they get shot or whatever, they need to cool their bodies down. If their bodies overheat, they die. And I call bullshit because in the climax scene where he's fighting the copycat nemesis, he um he not only does he get shot like about a hundred times, but he's also having a fight in the fire with this guy. So I'm like, bro, you should be dead. But I know it's a movie. It's a movie. It's a superhero movie. I can't, you know, sometimes you got to throw reality out the window. But I'm like, man, you should be dead. There's no way you should have survived this. All right. And other than that, not really memorable characters like the fake nemesis. He kind of reminded me of a mesh between Michael uh, Shannon and uh, Keith, uh, Keith Sutherland from The Lost Boys with Bane's jacket. That, that, that's what he reminded me of. But yeah, this is exactly, you know, long story short, you know, I'm, I'm going to keep it brief here because today is my birthday. Hey, happy birthday to me. Yes, I'm about to get borderline alcohol poisoning tonight. So I want to get this review out of the way so I can enjoy the rest of my birthday. But I just want to tell you all that this is a good watch on Amazon Prime. So check it out. I think you'll be entertained. It does not belong in the cinema. It belongs exactly where it's at. This is where it needs to be. Don't expect a masterpiece. Don't expect an a innovative superhero film that's good that you know refreshes the genre no it's kind of the same that you've always seen but now we get rocky slash rambo in the role of a superhero you know so uh let's go let's rumble uh you know this is yo <laughs> i thought about yo this is even a scene um the elevator scene right so there's a scene where he's in the elevator with a bunch of them and i'm like winter soldier so they, they took from universal soldier winter soldier a little bit of uh, X-Men Origins Wolverine with the whole brother angle. So it's, it's a gumbo of a lot of other stuff that you've seen. But um, entertaining enough. Entertaining enough. All right. So wrapping it up, I'm going to give Samaritan, I'm going to give it a C. Average grade. and that, But still, that's my second pop. So whatever he's in, I will watch it. All right. Except for Rhinestone Cowboy. I ain't watching that shit. But that's it and that's all. Uh, yeah, the whole thing, the whole Nemesis Samaritan thing, like I said, that shit's all predictable. You've seen that before, you know what I'm saying? It's like, ah, come on, man. It, we saw this a mile away. You know, yes, we, we know that you're not Samaritan. You're actually Nemesis. That's it and that's all. So, yeah, happy birthday to me. Uh, if you really want to celebrate my birthday, you can send some money in the, in the super things. <laughs> I'm just playing. No, I'm not. But anyways, uh, like it did the content, hit that like and subscribe notification bell in the corner. This is Rashad G signing out. See you in the next video. Thank you.